myself up here. Yo, so yeah, I I was about to leave and all that, and then the big homie a debt pulled up. I'm like, yo, that was ill. I was and I was right about to have a whole conversation with him, but I'm like, nah, I gotta go live with this. Like this for the people right here. Like that's somebody who I think is a pillar in battle rap right now. So we waiting for a to pull up. But yo, shout out to all the people, like I said, for um looking out and all that. Let me make a few changes to the um thing. I think I got my Malcolm X stuff on it. I got a um I think I just heard him pull up or something like that. Oh yeah, that's the big homie Adept. Shout out to again. Salute, salute. Like, you you I don't even know. So like yeah, from the beginning, were you able to see the whole card? Um I started watching well, for uh, Chef Trez versus Show Off. So any battles before that, I missed that. So right, I saw yeah. Chef Trez and Show Off. I saw uh, Remedy Loco and Swave. I saw, you know, Charlie Clips and Rosenberg, Ill Will and King Lowe's, and obviously Murder Mook and Big K. So I saw those battles. Yo, how you, yeah, so wait, first of all, how you feel about it overall? So how you feel about those battles? The battles that I saw, I thought it was a cool event. I thought it was a real cool event. Right. Not I for did. nothing. The wackest battle on the card was probably Swave and Remedy Loco. But even then, I was like, I, I still had some entertainment from it. So it is what it is. You, so wait, I, and I, I ain't going to lie. I thought that was one of my, I thought that was, see, now this is where I, and I, that's word to me I was thinking about you with this. It's like, I'm going to keep it a buck too. I honestly wasn't even going to mess with the card. I'm going to just be honest. I wasn't, you one of the reasons why, um, like I, I was, I was, I, you know, I knew a lot, a couple of things about battle rap, the weirdness and, and all that. Yeah. I, about hip hop in general, I mean, but I ain't really get and understand about like think different things in battle rap. But like, not like long story short, like I wasn't gonna get it just because of that whole Hegelian dialectic thing and the concept. Yeah, like that crazy. I watched the bootleg. I mean, I, I keep it real. I didn't spend any money to. <laughs> to it. Yo, bro, I respect it. I can't listen. I think I personally preach like, yo. On some when it when you when it's something of love and it's, it's equal energy and all that you got to support that support definitely right definitely there. I'm with you on that to say it's, it's like I'm I, I'm gonna keep it a buck for me I felt like I did so much stuff I grew up in the underworld doing a lot of I just said so much I, I was around criminals so yeah me too my whole so that's like that my whole thing is I I want to try to do everything and then with my kids and all that but it's like I I respect the game and I ain't gonna act like if I ain't, if somebody pull up to me and say, yo, I got the leg, I was definitely watching it. I would be for it. Right. I mean, like, because, like, I, I think I was going to end up probably succumbing to buy it just so I could watch the Big K and Murder Mook battle. Facts. But, you know, somebody threw the link at me. I'm like, all right, like, listen. <laughs> that's what I'm saying. You see, that's what I'm saying. It's like the energy. Like, once it's right, like, I'm not just going to be like, I got to support all these cars. Y'all got to show me something that's going to be good energy to, to that's worth it. Exactly, and when you're doing the promo card like that, that's that's not really inviting me to spend my hard-earned money on that shit. I feel you, bro. I feel you not. And and now, like I said, the recap of all the, and the ones that you didn't see, like they were, there was definitely some good ones there. But you saw definitely the heavy hit. I think these was heavy hitters. Like yeah. So wait, so the first one you saw was the um the Chef Trez you said right? Chef Trez and um and Show Off, yeah, and Chef Trez, yeah, he caught a body. <laughs> he caught a body to me. Is he officially the rebuttal king? Yeah, he has to be, man. He has to be. I thought that, like, from the and, and I'm gonna be honest, I I was one of those people who thought Show Off was gonna win this clear. Clearly, I ain't even gonna lie to you. I like Chef. Trey. Really? I thought it was gonna. I think, yo, I think Show Off. I don't know. It might be. A, I'm a little. I'm a, I'm I'm a little biased with Brooklyn energy, but people from okay. Brooklyn, especially if you from Bushwick, um, East New York, or from Brownsville or Bed Stuy, like that. That's kind of like my stomping ground. So. I look up to be just like that, but it's like at the same time, like whatever, like math hop or certain people. I like I, I when when all the stuff come, I was like I gotta I don't just completely I, so I, I do it out there like you know I know I'm not somebody who completely just biased towards Brooklyn, but I rock with Show Off because I feel like he carries a righteous energy. Like when I seen that whole fight your demons, that's what I thought he was about. But now even when we from the discussions and everything, I'm like, hey, right, that probably got a different meaning. It but could, I mean, yeah. Ugh. Even from the angle of it and all that, and we talk about the symbolisms and centers and all that. So it's like I was like, damn, I, that went right over my head because I didn't think it was in battle rap like that. Nah, it's it's definitely here. It's that it, it's open too. I mean, you heard Murder Mook talk about it, all that. Like yeah. it's just it's definitely here. So nah. Smack is a follower of some dude named Bobby Hemmett, who's like an occultist who gets all of his teachings from Alistair Crowley. H Helena Blavatsky, all those people, man. It's, it's these people are different, but 
That, that's the entertainment industry in general. That was fire, though, because, nah, you just, let me tell you something. That was deep. Like, Bobby Hemmett was a big part of my conversation. Somebody came up to me. This is what I'm talking about. I, I think these conversations big. Mm-hmm. Um, somebody asking me about, like, who to rock with, like, who, they, who the different people. And I'm like, yo, this is who charlatans, they clearly... They were clearly working for these people. They clearly boule this, and I'm and right. he said Bobby Hammond, and I'm like, I he Bobby Hammond, somebody for years. I've never honest. I know he talk about a lot of that deep stuff about that Masonic stuff and all that. But in my that's mind, what they do. They they mix it in. They they'll give you some real knowledge in order to have you follow them, but then they turn, they take you somewhere else. Yo, I, I can't lie to you. I, I bet that's like a hundred percent of like when you start really getting a deep to. The, that's why I think it's important to talk about it. It's like they they don't even really hide it. But I didn't the know with Bobby Hammond is he used to work with the brother Stephen Coakley. Have you heard of uh, Stephen Coakley? Yeah, see, that's why I, Steve, I thought. Now, please, if Steve Coakley, I thought is the goat. No, Steve Coakley's the goat. Oh he yeah, is. That's, so yeah, he's, he's the goat. He's the goat. Like, like he he started exposing the Boule Societies with uh, yeah. with Bobby Hammond, but they they branched away from each other later on because you know Bobby Hammond he he had the idea of oh no we should yeah we're exposing these people for doing this magic. And, but no, we should do the magic ourselves. No, that's not what it is. You know the magic is dark. You know it's evil. But now you're saying that we should do it ourselves. And no. now we're thinking about it. That's when a lot of his lectures, I never, I honestly never even seen them together. So that was deep that you said that. Yeah, but yeah, honestly, yeah. You can look into it. They worked together in the 90s. And that's why a lot of his, and now that you we get with the Hegelian dialectic, and, and when I got introduced to Dr. T, here's my truth, from Bushwick, Dr. York was big. That now yeah. Was big. So I grew up seeing like I thought they were ill. I loved the whole pyramid stuff and the whole um they had black Jesus and all that stuff. So I was into that and looking at that. They got into some wild, wild allegations. A lot of stuff came out. And Bobby Hammett, I had got introduced to him because he was banging on the Nawobians. And I was like, oh yeah, you're right. They 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 are doing this and that. So I thought they created this little war and they on it's the same thing, cause Dr. York, another one, dropped mad information. I thought he was the GOAT. And Bad. yo, so you drop, you just, I appreciate that. I say that to say, like, when I get something, you gave me something. Cause I don't, that's my thing. Like, let people to, to, to each his own. Like, but if you somebody who is charlatan and you like playing around with this stuff and you misleading the people, immediately. You gotta get called out immediately. You, know, you waste a lot of people's time. I'm somebody who actually read the books. So it's yep. like, you tell me, you know how much, doc, y'all just was telling somebody, I got mad Dr. York books. And it's like, I can't do nothing with, I mean, it's, not, it's some information there, but it's like, it's it's like, and he- There's of, always going to be information in there, of course, but you just got to be careful with the way that certain people frame it. Absolutely. Now, I, I, I look, I use it for like, like one of the ones, I, I, I threw some of them away, because a lot of them is just a lot of mumbo jumbo, and they say, mm-hmm. he, they say he was plagiarizing. I don't know if you're- Yeah, right. it was a lot of plagiarism, a lot, a lot of shit exactly. with these guys. Exactly, and I think that's what you're getting into with the whole Bobby Hammond thing, like, because they get into a lot of energy. But yo, you see, that's, that's what I love about this, and that's how I like your, how your vlogs and your energy be with. It gets into, like, battle rap, and you get into a whole deep conversation. Right. That's fire. That's what the right. me, bro. That's what the culture need, man, for real. And then the whole investment thing. I just, I'm just giving you your props, your flowers, and all that. But like, I used to do the investment a lot more, but then they started creating fake narratives about me that I was stealing money from people, even though you can't find one person I ever asked for money. I all I did was it. tell people, "Yo, this is popping right now. Go do this. <laughs> Go do that." And I, I basically did. Re- I was, I did whatever type of research because, like, I was like before I got it, I started deep diving. Like right before you got into the easy to block captain interview. I'm gonna ask you some questions about that too in a minute, but yeah, yeah talk I, to me. I started deep diving and like, I, right, I, I've been hearing, I've been watching your stuff. I just haven't been doing it for my channel here. I got another channel I've been watching your, your stuff for, but like, you haven't been like, I think, um, you never said nothing that stood out like that was anything wrong. So I never, I just always used to hear rumors about you. That's honestly, I should click your channel when restore that whole restore order drama was coming out, and I'm like. Yeah. Hey, you got the. I'm like, if if how can y'all? How, everybody's ignoring you. So that's what made me even pay attention to you. And then, so I thought you was all about just like you just some genius who you was able to like do some business work and get their thing. I didn't really know how deep. You, so I thought all your hate was about that. I did my little background. Like, yo, every claim about you, there's no. I don't see nothing. Anything that somebody think they're saying about you bad is just making them look crazy. Like you're not. Yeah. I'm not saying, and everybody got whatever, like, but from what I'm saying, like, as far as any type of major thing or whatever, it's like, nah, all that stuff was nonsense. And I see why, though, because you got a, 
your power and your voice is serious and you you spreading some real knowledge so once again salute to that man no nah, i appreciate you bro real talk real talk but now nah, listen a lot of people i know they're gonna want to definitely hear some more battle rap because i'm pretty sure this is definitely not gonna be our first conversation but like, now nah, right, we go back and forth that, that's how you do it we, we switch back and forth from the battle rap to the real talk ah uh, nah i like that i like they that. love I like that i like your understanding now that's real talk right there well i'm gonna say this then because i i want to get into something with the, like it's on my mind heavy why do you think how how is it possible that that easy to block cap the interview as deep as that was is something that i didn't hear a lot of bloggers talking about it i actually stopped like i'm i paused i got some more stuff i got i got a whole lot of stuff about it actually but i stopped and i'm like i want to hear what the coach is saying about this is nobody's it's like it just kind of went you that was the first time i seen easy to block cap the loser lose a battle facts straight up dead serious like from his whole run but it's like do you like is that you think that there's like a like with as have you seen well let me that's my first question ha, have you seen any blogs or anybody talking about it no only uh only you dme detroit and battle truth exactly oh yeah shout out to dme detroit oh man battle truth Facts. big battle. shout out to dme detroit yeah that's my homie i rock yo i especially on a late night when i i you y'all going back and forth with the late I, that'd be perfect because i i work kind of late like that so I'm like, that's crazy. I'd be laughing in the background. But yeah, like that's, I think I just always, that's why I'm about to get back on it. When he said that you're going to be doing this for like two weeks, I was like, oh, he has no he idea. He has no idea. <laughs> I'm going to be doing it for like two months at least. <laughs> Facts. Facts. You think two weeks, that's all you're going to get? Okay. You must not have seen Bill Collector. You must not have seen a lot of shit. <laughs> Yo. And I'm gonna tell you, this is how that's 100. percent You're right about yo, the, you, and that's another thing. You kind of like right when I feel like I'm starting to really like yo, I rock with this battle rapper. You perfectly expose it at the right time because I'm gonna tell you some straight up stuff. I wasted money. I'm I like the support and like when I'm up and things is running right. I thought I mean I thought like I like like the like, homeless all that. Like I'm into all that charity and actually stuff like that. So when it comes to support and entrepreneurs and people doing business and stuff like that I oh, yeah. I, I'm gonna tell you straight up right here because I was looking at the screenshot too Rebecca Williams dollar sign energy gal I think it's due I think it was due I'm, I'm saying this out for the first time I not only told my personal people about this I had a problem with easy to black this is kind of why I supported him from the beginning because when he started doing it was right after the um I think not it wasn't you. I think Goods is the one. Goods was laughing about his cologne, the blue cologne. Yep, 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 yep. <laughs> so who killed him. Who killed him? <laughs> <laughs> no. He said, Is this Windex? No, I think why is it blue? <laughs> no, he sprayed it and it was L yo. It was legit blue. <laughs> that was one of the funniest in the history of that time, bro. Right. And the way DNA 2 remixed it, it was perfect. It was perfect. DNA 2 was a, yo, the 2 is, yo, the Yeah, 2 is the GOAT, man. 2 is the GOAT. Bro, I had, I don't know, I, that's one of the, I be crying from his, I literally be in tears sometimes from that five minute clips he be dropping. Like, right. great tears. But now, nah, let me get back to this, because this is very important. I said that name for a reason. Um, um, I went to support. I was like, right. it was funny, and I felt like, nah, I'm gonna go support him. I'm not gonna get the cologne. Let me get one of the gutter sweaty sweater sweaters and all that. So, I I went before I did that. I went to hit him up because I was gonna make sure I posted and um like try to you know send a link up. So yep. I went to the Instagram. Long story short, I'm on the Twitter. I find him on Twitter, and I use the same nag name that he got on Instagram. It was like easy to block Captain One. This is a fake account, and I clearly didn't know it. So I'm like, yo, bro, blah, blah, blah. And this person, and let me tell you why I think it's due. I'm, I'm not trying to just throw, throw acne click accusations out there, but I'm somebody who does thorough research, especially if I get scammed or something like this. This yeah. happened, this happened like whenever that happened, like that was like five, six months ago. First time I'm talking about it now because I feel like it is what it is. I'm done with it. Like I like, I was like, yo, I'm about to get close to easy because I'm it was only I spent two hundred dollars worth on sweaters and shirts and stuff like that. Yep. I sent them two two hundred dollar things, but after when I sent the first one, I'm like, "Yo, the whole time I was talking to you, you didn't say nothing about having no female." But I'm like, "Oh, this must be do." And then I looked at dude's channel, and I'm like, "She got a whole bunch of things like energy and all that type of stuff to get into, like the you talk yep. about that voodoo stuff." Oh, well, not voodoo. Um, 
the black magic and that witchcraft. Yeah, that sorcery shit, the, the manifestation stuff, yeah, all that. Satanic behavior. Yeah. behavior. The, behavior. the low talking? level Luciferianism. Yeah, exactly, exactly. Long story short, so I'm like, all right, maybe that's that what it was, and I just took it as it was due. And find out, bro, that thing, it, I got, it was a scam. And I ain't saying that. I just, I blocked the person. And I was like, yo, I'm going to campaign. I'm either going to get my money back or I can't, I'm not, I'm like, it's only $200. But I don't, I, bro, if somebody take 10 cents from me, if you, if it's on some unrighteous energy, that's a problem. Right. I'd rather give but, a but This is what I don't respect because they have the, that, that quote unquote fake easy to block captain account. They also have the fake Charlie Clips account, right? Ooh. On Twitter, that that's like stealing from fans. Fans think it's a real account, whatever. Charlie Clips and Easy could easily take those uh, Twitter pages down. Very easily. All they have to do is uh, go to Twitter, report it, and say that they're impersonating me. That's it. Once you're impersonating somebody and you don't label the account as like a parody account or something, it gets taken down. So clearly, they to me, to me, I think they're getting a cut. I say the same. That's why I immediately... Yo, you a bro. I love that's what I'm saying. You play chess? Yeah, I do. My my, my brother's way better though. He he's way into the chess shit more than me. But I, I do definitely play chess. I love. I'm a I'm a like one of my first books. I want like my last book is like my best one of my best ones. It's called Metaphysical Checkmate. But it's like people who think fast like that. We are gonna get right back to to Chef Trez. It's why I like Chef. Trez. People who Back. you know, like put them links together. You gotta honor and respect those minds. It's great. Definitely. Mind. Yeah, but. That That's why I got so much respect for Chef Trez, man. The fact was- that he could follow up with the three of them things. Every battle. He never goes a battle without doing it. And that, that's spectacular to me. The dude is talented. And it's all fire. It's no dry. It's not like bad. Like he's, yo, he's talented is the perfect word. I, like I said, he got to get. I think I thought A Ward was a rebuttal king for a while. To be honest, like just watching the last couple of like last year or two of him, he was doing it in between rounds and stuff like that, which I thought was extra impressive. Besides, how oh, he definitely, was- definitely. When you do it in between rounds, that's different. Crazy. Yeah, but it's like the way, especially with this battle, the way that Chef Trez was doing them th- those those rebuttals was it was it was like Show Off was even giving him the props for it. Yeah, bro, but the this- rebuttals was. Better crafted than show offs rounds. That's the truth. I, that's what I was gonna get to as well. How hot was it? Hey, I, I want to ask you about this one specific because this went on my mind real quick. Show off is like, yo, you can't re- you rebuttal words, but you can't rebuttal actions. He did that security thing, which was like, all right, I laughed. It was like, yeah, that was funny. It was exactly. It was like all right, that was cute. It wasn't nothing like crazy. That to rebuttal that was. That was like it was simple, but I'm like, yo, you he you say he can't rebuttal action, and he did it. Like that's how nice Jeff Trez is. He's all angles and all ways. Like that energy was fire. Like what you so yeah, like what, do you who's who's your top three rebuttal? Who you think the top three rebuttalers are? <clears throat> number one would be Chef Trez. Uh, at this point, for sure. Uh, number two, this one might 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 surprise you. Danny Myers. Oh, you. I'm definitely putting Danny Myers there. The thing with Danny, though, is that he rebuttals so often, sometimes he, they don't be landed. That's the thing that be hurting Danny. Sometimes they don't be landed, but when they do, they and the fact that he's always attempting them, you got to respect that, too. That was good. I was thinking that. you. That, I forgot about Danny. You were 100% right. And he's very cons- He don't say three of them things or whatever, because sometimes he give you more. Sometimes yeah. he'll just give you one big banger. Or just one big banger and go straight into the round or whatever. Like Whatever it has to do to win. He definitely rebuttals, though. I think he's going to say QP. Like, quantum physics, like, yeah, I think... QP, that- yeah, man, listen. QP, yeah, 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 yeah. Facts. Wise, I know. As far as everything else, like, whatever. I don't... I the, actually, thing, the thing with QP, when he just talks, he be rapping. That's why, the, yeah, I mean, that, that's dangerous. That's that, that's a, that's a, one of the minds. It's a quick mind, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's very, very uh, quick with it. I'm not gonna front. I do. I do respect QP, and and to me, I respect QP because at least he was honest about the stuff that he did. You know, I was about to say the same thing, but that's like a pimp energy. Like when you really think about it, like it's a <laughs> gotta, you kind of gotta be quick with it, with it to, to do what you do. But yeah, you're right. It's a respect thing. It's that's all. And that's what I say. Honest discussions. Like if you got it, if you whatever you're doing, stand on that business. Like, like stand on it. it that's that's it. it. Is that that was my issue with easy. Because, like, fam, we all know about the story of what happened at the Woman of the Year panel, bro. Like, I've spoken to Caps extensively since this. And he's like, 
Yeah, bro. It was like, like when he said it, he heard it from people that were there. Mm. You know what I mean? Like, every so like Easy could have used that opportunity to be like, listen, yeah, I did make that mistake. I would never do that again. I, I, uh, uh, a lot of brothers I know fall into that trap. But you know, at the end of the day, as we grow as men, we know we're not supposed to do that. Period. It is not. It's that simple. It was, and nobody would thought about it again. Nobody would have ever thought about it again, yo. Adept, think about this too. You just made me realize some. I didn't even. I didn't think about this since y'all interview. Remember the right? Because he just killed Hitman Holler, and he had a crazy energy with the blogs. He was. He started doing a lot of different blogs with everybody. He had this beautiful energy. All he had to do was just be humble for that one moment, and just that's all he had to do. Yeah, you got a balanced life. Like you want to just that, but that's that whole like is that Luciferian energy of thinking you want to be manipulative and controlling everything at all times. Always in power nonsense. The also thing where easy is he had a lot of people in his ear too. If you noticed in the interview, a lot of people were calling him the whole time. Max. Kept on calling him. The whole time, right? And what he told Bill Collector, don't worry, I got him. Yo, that was the biggest yo, that was so crazy how that got flipped on him. I never I can't think of some another situation like that. He swore, yeah, all right, all right, all right I got something for you. And you're like, no, 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 that, yeah, yeah, we, I was, oh, yeah, it was that. It wasn't a, what well, he said, it wasn't a, it wasn't like I was sleeping on his couch, but it's like, I just had like the toothpaste. I forgot, it was just something. Oh, yeah, yeah, no, no, he said, he said exactly what I said, but he said, because I said a blow-up mattress or something, and he said it wasn't a blow-up mattress, it was a couch, okay. <laughs> I mean. <laughs> Yo, I had to run, I had to rewind it, I couldn't, when I first heard, I'm like, there's no way he just said that, and then. <laughs> You, you realize, though, what Bill Collector said, though, right? He was like, yo, um, I think I think he said a little bit after, like, I'm on, no, he said, yeah, I'm on a live right now, too. So he probably, if he was on a live, I don't even know if he would, because it's like, you either, you don't, it, it was, I, he had to have known, or they had to have discussed something. Let me, let me say this before I get into that. I thought when I seen him um doing an interview, because y'all had it posted up that it was coming up, I'm like, yo, this is great because, he left URL and now he's feeling comfortable to whatever. Just he, he don't gotta like do no speak ex- freely. Exactly, exactly. Just speak freely or at least acknowledge what you've been saying. That's all I'm saying. Like you broke away from that. If you don't acknowledge that, see the thing is, bro, adept. They don't realize they. You can see how a lot of them complain. Like who the last, the worst one was your honor, and it's like if if y'all don't. If y'all don't say something, you're going to make more young battle rappers get into this, and they, you're going to make these people keep thinking this is okay to do. So yeah. you're just hurting, it, you're hurting people by not talking about it. It's crazy. That, that's my biggest thing. Exactly. Like, like just talk about it. Like, what's really, what, what's constricting y'all from talking about this? Like, 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 honestly. Actually, I respected Your Honor, because Your Honor was the first person that really came out and confirmed the five-year contract. Exactly. No, that's Exactly. But what happens is that how long has that been going on though? This is what I'm long to time. Say. Exactly. Like you, if, if somebody would have said something before that, your honor, because he basically stepped in shit that he couldn't get out of. And it, and it realized how bad he, it was. he admitted, he said, listen, the contract is beneficial to the URL only. But it, in another interview, he goes on to say, listen, man, yeah, I signed that. And because it was always his dream to be on URL that he cried after he signed the contract. So he had no knowledge of this. Like it was his dream because he's looking at these other rappers and they he's thinking their business is good, that the URL is taking care of them. But then we hear about K Sean's unhappy. We Rock wanted to leave the URL multiple times because they were violating him. Uh, it's all these dudes, man, but they don't come out and, and be honest about these contracts. So then these young brothers go on, they sign that same contract, they get into the same issues. This is my whole thing, bro. You are hundred percent right. And I'm a actual I'm a I'm a I'm a this is my fifteen um actual year teaching of certified New York City Department of Education teaching all that. I mean, right now, since COVID, now I teach I do um I do Zoom and all that. I don't I I, I like I teach internationally, but the point is oh, God yeah, much respect, pure certified. I'm like working on, especially with the news that happened this week. I'm trying to kick back on my lawsuit. Like they owe me. Like I went for I went twelve straight years teaching there, self certified teacher, master's degree, top of the line. All of my observations were excellent observations as a teacher. They have not one thing that wasn't not even good. It was all excellent. And then because of this whole shot thing, I lose everything. You got y'all got y'all got to pay me something for that. 
Oh, are you going to pay all of my student old loans, all that stuff? So, like, that's what I'm I'm putting out there right now. That's, that's one of the things I'm banging on. I was waiting. Facts. No, 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 no. Don't let that shit go either. If you have a case that you can fight, go for it. Keep going yeah. for that shit. Absolutely. Yeah, they, 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 I got because the lawsuits, I'm telling you. Uh, in the next few years, you're going to start hearing more of these lawsuits right. getting finalized, people getting pump money, people getting paid. Yeah, and I got, I, I, I'll tell you, I mean, whatever, you already know, but it's like when you, I'm, I, I'm a legal mind, like one of my books is Know Thy Law. Like, I think it's very important to know that laws, and they made a huge, like, they're going to have to settle with me once they see the evidence I have regardless. So it's either going to be something quick. Or y'all gonna have to y'all gonna Once the New York City Supreme Court said that uh the the, the mandates were unconstitutional, right. it opens the gates to all these lawsuits. Absolutely. And you heard how the fire department a few months like yeah, a few months ago. A fire the fire department in New York City, they, they didn't basically they got their jobs back and they got like a twenty five thousand dollars like pay all yep. yep. they have to pay they have to pay them all the back pay. Fire. Exactly. Yep. The only thing for me is, like I said, I didn't. What I learned from my lawyer, my legal consultations, all that, I didn't know that. I mean, it's simple now. I'm saying it, but it's like, as an employee, no matter what type of union or whatever you have, they literally can fire you at any time. Fact. And that was a heavy. When I really thought about that, I'm like, yo, I, I'm, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a veteran marine. I did all this time there. I went to all these years in high school and in college and all this stuff. Got these all degrees, all this stuff. And y'all just defy me because I don't want to succumb to your nonsense. Exactly. Yo, I, so I can't, I'm like, I don't want to go back. So they offered, I mean, my legal consultation asked me like if I should. But check this out though. The fact that yes, they can fire you when you sign as an at will employee, they can fire you at any time, but it, they could, there's still laws that, that stop them from firing you for certain types of reasons. Like they can't fire you because you're black. They can't fire you because, um, uh, 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 medical reasons. They can't. And then that vaccine mandate, that's a medical, that's medical personal information. That you don't, they don't have the right to the, demand that information from you at all. That goes against, um, what exactly? Uh, uh, uh is it Hippocratic? Exactly. That's your 100% right. Our Hippocratic you, rights. Yeah, man. You can't ask me that. You can't even be, you 100% right. That's like if they like, yo, you got AIDS? <laughs> like, 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 you know what I mean? Like they're they're asking about a, a a medical uh something that between you and your doctor, and they're right. basing your employment based on that. So that's illegal, man. Yo, and the dev, you want, let me tell you how deep it is for me, and this is why my case is kind of. I think I got a a little bit more. Of, it's my one lawyer said it was an advantage, another lawyer says a disadvantage. But my case is my case was before. I didn't, it wasn't even a, the actual jab. I was against the, don't even, you're not testing me. Like, I wasn't even with none of that. So when it came to testing, they told me that I basically have to, um, if I either got to show proof from my doctor that, I, that I'm that i getting tested there or something like that, or I got to, like, create some legal documentation saying I'm a, it's against my religion. And I'm like, I'm not lying. I don't, and I don't. Definitely, I, it, to me, it's against my, it's against my beliefs. Shit, because I think that whole testing was some satanic ritual that they did back in ancient Kemet. Facts. When they're sticking that shit in your nose and all that, that shit is an ancient ritual from from, from, from Kemet. When Facts. they in the brain, exactly. You 100% right. When like, said, fuck off, and you're not doing that to me. I never got tested for COVID. Never happened. Bro, I wish I was hoping. I, you just, if I was, if, if I had that thought when that was going on, that passed, that went over my head. And then when I'm thinking about it, that's it. It's, they put that, they were shoving that stuff all up in people's know, like in their brain. Facts, yeah. Yeah, yeah. I'm glad you said it. I, I'm, I'm going to add, my lawyer, he kept saying that too. Like, do you want to go the, the religion route? But I'm like, no, this is just, I don't, legally precedent, they're not allowed to do this. And so I was just like trying to, I was kind of being egotistical about it. But that's a beautiful, I like that. I yeah, I would, I would definitely fall back on the. And and it's like I don't even like the word they use in religion. It's just against my beliefs, man. Period. Exactly. It's my right. And first of all, I don't even think they have a right to ask you if you were tested. Yo, that's real. Exactly. And actually, on the contract, they they kept having me sign. They made me sign it like five times. It said if you don't want to do it, if 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 you basically if you sign that, it was gonna make it easier for them to ask you about anything in the future. So I'm like, yo, I don't know what I, I don't. Why would I get tested if I'm a, and at the time I was a, 
No, I wasn't a vegan, but I was like on my health thing. I'm juicing and all that stuff. I'm like, yo, I, I work out. I'm a, I'm in my marine shape. I don't think I'm going to get sick from no anything. I'm good. I'm going to protect myself. I'm a natural immunity. They're like,